Welcome everyone. This is Brother Doug with the Awakened by Yahuwah Fellowship Group. I'm with my brother Dennis, my sister Shoshana, my sister Susan, my brother Bobby, my sister Kristen, uh, Kristen our sister Sally, and um, we have a special visitor today, our brother Mark, and um, we are going to be talking about the mark of the beast versus the mark of of the seal of Yahuwah, how, how do we differentiate and how do we know which one is which and what is the mark of the beast and what is the seal of Yahuwah. So that's what we're going to be studying today. Um, first, we're going to be kind of diving into some scriptures here. Um, we're going to start first with what the seal of Yahuwah is and what scripture tells us is the seal of Yahuwah. So um, we're going to be briefly doing that first. So. I'm going to start off with a couple of Tanakh verses here. And let me just get my shared screen on. Let's see here. Let's go to Esword here. Okay, so first we're going to start off in Exodus. We're going to go to Exodus 12, 23. So Exodus chapter 12, 23, and I'm reading from the restored name King James. Um, it replaces the Father's name back with the Tetragrammaton. So just for those that are not too familiar with the restored name King James. All right, so it says in Exodus 12, 23, it says, For Yahuwah will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he sees the blood upon the lintel and the two side posts, Yahuwah will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. So that was Exodus 12, 23. Now, we're on limited time right now, so we only got about 10 minutes of this session already. So I'm going to be kind of breezing through here, try to fit these three or four more references in before we're going to have to do a part two. Um, so that was Exodus 12, 23. Now we're going to go to Ezekiel 9, 4 to 6. So Ezekiel chapter 9, verses 4 and verses 6, which say, And Yahuwah said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Yerushalam, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him, through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, or the elder men, which were before the house. So, oops, sorry about that. Um, so that was Ezekiel chapter 9, verses 4 and verses 6. So that is showing us that part of Yahuwah's seal is actually groaning and crying over lawlessnesses and abominations being done. Um, so that's part of his seal. Another part of his seal, like Ezekiel 12 was talking about, is being covered by the blood. Now, obviously, we believers in the body of Messiah can, in modern day, think of Yahushua's blood covers our transgressions and that he covers us without his atoning sacrifice, without his blood, um, many will be destroyed in the day of Yahuwah. So um, now we're going to go quickly to Revelations chapter 9, verse 4, which says, oh no, we're going to actually go to Revelation 7, verse 3 first, try to keep the order. Um, Revelations chapter 7, verse 3 says, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our Elohim in their foreheads. So again, this is talking about the seal of Yahuwah being in our foreheads. Okay, so now we're going to jump to Revelation chapter 9, verse 4, which says, And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of Yahuwah in their forehead. So to end this portion, Revelations chapter 9, verse 4, is talking about the seal of Yahuwah on their forehead, 
on our foreheads. So um, we are going to be back in a, um, in a little bit. Um, we will have to do a part two, guys, because we had limited time to start with. So please stay tuned, all viewers and listeners. We will be back very soon. Shalom. And let me unmute everyone so they... Thank you.